So here's the video streaming apps you can have on your Tesla. Netflix, great. YouTube, great. Um, I've, I don't use Hulu, but I know it's popular too. I'd like to have Plex right here. And basically, you can't do it directly. So what you got to do is uh, open up your browser. And you're going to go to this website called abettertheater.com. abettertheater.com. And there's Plex. Now, before you hit that, you're going to first have to hit go full screen. And what it does is it uses, uh, just got to sit here and wait a second. It's going to use the YouTube website as a wrapper around Plex. So this will come up and you hit go to the site, which is the back to the A Better Theater and then hit Plex now. And now it'll stay full screen and you'll have your Plex. If you're already logged in, this will come up like this. And um, if you're not logged in for the first time you do this, it'll ask you for the login and you um, have to give it your email address and password. If you're logging into Plex with a Facebook or uh, I believe Google account, uh, it won't work. You're supposed to log in with email and password. So you might have to remedy that possibly just punch in your email and tell it, send me the password to get that set up. And uh, then you have access to all your uh, home movies or anything else Plex offers. So this is off of my NAS at the house. And uh, the benefit of this is that it's using the uh, bandwidth of the premium connectivity of Tesla rather than me having a separate tablet in the car that's running off my hotspot on my cell phone. So um hope this helps you guys out.